Welcome back to the Chelsea FC career mode here on FC24. We have changed things as per your feedback quite considerably. The formation now looks very different indeed with a 4-3-3 false 9. You can also notice Noni Madueke on the right into the starting lineup with Sterling now switched to the left and Lavia in at CDM. We're going to try and get a bit more out of Christopher Nkunku as he is now the focal point up top through the middle. Petrovic continues in goal. We've, on paper, some easier fixtures today. Fulham, who are joint bottom of the table with us so far. Then Burnley. Brentford is not necessarily an easy fixture, but it's certainly easier than Arsenal, that's for sure. But we'll be simming Brentford, playing Fulham, Burnley and Arsenal, and then we'll sim the game against Newcastle in the Cup as well, because we've got Newcastle in the league again tomorrow. tomorrow's episode. That one's going to be very difficult indeed, but today we're going to try our damned best to get some points on the board. Please do continue to leave your thumbs up on the videos. It really does make a massive, massive difference. Appreciate it very much indeed. And also, you'll notice I've got something in the background. We used it for an Xbox brand deal on stream the other day, but I thought I might use it in, uh, in videos as well. So if you leave a comment down below, it doesn't necessarily have to be you saying, pick me for the thing but i will pick three comments from the uh, from the comment section of each and every youtube video and your names will go on the on the led screen behind me for the next video so do make sure you leave a comment related to the, the content i'd very much appreciate it and uh, helps the channel do well make sure you subscribe to the channel continually as well and do check the second channel as well link in the description chesnoy plays the my player at Notts County currently is going down very well as well. So do check that out. Come and join me on Twitch. We're very close to 90,000 followers on Twitch. And we're streaming all of the content that we record. So it's going to be well worth your time. Right, all of the plugging over. Now let's plug the gaps in our defence. And put some points on the board. And let that points tally fill up. Fulham's probable lineup looks as you can see it there. They play a kick and rush tactical vision. So I'm expecting some long balls up to Raul Jimenez and then players like Willian and Harry Wilson to kind of tuck in and get involved in the forward play. They've lost three of the last five, drawing the other two. They don't yet, I believe, have a win in the Premier League. So this is the opportunity to ensure that that maintains itself for them and we can get three points on the board. With the new formation, we should do our absolute best to make the most of it. We'll improve some morale by uh, just answering questions the right way. And fingers crossed that will help boost attributes just enough for us to be able to get the victory today. For those that were leaving the comments mentioning it, I have passed the feedback on about your disgruntlement at the lack of the pre-game cutscenes with regards to the lineups, etc. and extra like, handshakes and anthems so on and so forth. I have passed that feedback on to the devs. Uh, your frustration at the lack of their presence in the game this year. And hopefully that will be taken aboard because I agree with you guys. It does distract from the immersion. Oh, is the bad luck going to continue? No. That does distract from the overall experience. I think it's just part... I think the decision they made was to just get you into the game quicker. But previously you could do that by just skipping the cutscene in the first place. While some people obviously like the fact that the cutscene was there. Like myself for content to do the uh, the lineups etc. So like I say I've passed that feedback on. Thank you for your continued comments. Please do keep the feedback coming. And of course via the EA Creator Network I can keep that going back to the devs. And hopefully if it, something is evident enough that it's unpopular enough. Then things may well be changed in due course. Scoreline's changed. 1-0 Fulham. Here's Willian down the left for Fulham now. Cut inside. And Iwobi again. Javier in the way. Can Conor Gallagher get up to that? Yes, he can. Space for Noni to get down the wing. Noni Madueke. You see Sterling at the back post. It's a case of can we find him? The answer is going to be yes. And there's an equalising goal. Fantastic acrobatics from Raheem Sterling at the back post and a deadly counter-attack. You guys wanted Noni to start and for Sterling to switch to the left, you know what you're talking about. 1-1. One, one. We've gotten on the score sheet already and we'll hope to try and keep them out once more. 
Oh, he's beating me there. Willian, good save by Petrovic. There's a real lack of marking in areas like that, scenarios like that. I don't know whether you guys have noticed something similar with the gameplay, but finding it very difficult for any sort of defensive player to track any attacking player in those situations. Counter-attack could be on again, and if Nkunku makes the right run, he's away here. Oh, it's a very, 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 very heavy touch. Oh, that's killed it. Willian's through. Oh, my God, what a finish. Willian with a strike and a half, running between the defenders. The man that I was in control of tried to cut it out. The man that I wasn't in control of watched Willian just run past him. Ah, the hell of a strike, though. Brilliant finish. Whether we get... Well, when we get to January, we will be signing a new a new goalkeeper for damn sure. I don't know whether you guys are feeling this as well. I feel like all my players are slow. I feel like I've got no pace with anyone. I'm just getting outpaced by absolutely everybody. Oh, Willian's in and Willian scores. No tracking of runners and I'm 3-1 down. James finds Madueke. Finds Nkunku. Christopher Nkunku hits the post. How's your luck? Through there is Enzo Fernandez. No, oh, it's a dead pass. Absolutely dead pass. Raul Jimenez. Gimme. I can't get there. Lukic. There's the through ball. Wilson. And Iwobi. There's the runner of Willian again. Oh, he's gone. Now they've hit the post. Oh, my God. I've really narrowed up my defensive width in the hope of blocking those gaps, plugging those gaps that have just been so vacant in the middle of my pitch. And Kungu was offside there and Tim Ream intercepts that brilliantly. But, oh, lads, I am really, really struggling with defending. Scoring goals is, well, it has been a problem, but not as much of a problem as defending. I cannot defend on FC24. At all. There's Nkunku. Nice turn. It's Enzo Fernandez. Trying to find some space. Space is at a premium right now. Oh! Bish bash boss. Top bloody corner. 3-2. We're back in it. Wow. That's the best goal we've scored all season so far. Oh, Jimenez picked off nicely by Reese James. Conor Gallagher. Looking for the ball. Into Noni Madueke. Look at Sterling on the far side. What an interception by Israel Polini. I don't think I could have put any more power on that if I tried. I still couldn't get it to him. I'm trying to run with Lavia and he just feels like he's walking. He's like power walking. Here's Wilson. Oh, it's a lovely heavy touch. Cutting it back. Di Sassi gets there, but it falls to Teta. Teta to Wilson. Teta again. Nice interception by TSRC. Falls to Willian. Good block. Falls to Willian. Nod this back to the keeper. That's not the goalkeeper. But thankfully, it hasn't gone to a fuller man. That was worrisome. Noni with a lovely turn. Come on then. Let's use this counter-attack again. Run for me, Mr. Nkunku. Don't just bloody stand there. That's not Nkunku. Give me a break. Please. Thank you, TSRC. My God. Some of this passing and... Nonsense is really frustrating. And Kunku looking to get in behind. Christopher and Kunku equalizing goal. It's 3 3. Let's go. Come on. Lavia with the burst of pace. Drill that. Get there, Noni. Good lad. Lavia's still there. Quick one, two. Connor Gallagher's here with me. Noni's gone again. Noni's in. Noni Madaweke. Oh, it's a poor finish. I tried to put some power behind it, and he's just side-footed it. Lavia. Conor Gallagher is there. It's Noni it's gone to. I should maybe have gone to Conor Gallagher there. Here's Rhys James now. Whips it in. Enzo! That is well over the top. Well, we haven't had a 3-3 before, have we? But, jeez Louise, this is insane. There are all my efforts, that, as you can see. That's a nice new graphic. Two goals scored, two shots off target, one shot on. The ball is going in the back of the net. Unfortunately... That is the case at both ends, though. Where's he going? Where are you going, Tim? Where are you going, Tim? Robinson. Good block. Falls to Adama. Adama, good block. Win that, Connor. I can't. Lukic. Wilson. Disassif. Oh, how is... 
It's my luck, man! I intercept it and it falls straight back to Harry Wilson. I give up! I could actually cry! I'm the most unlucky career mode player you've ever seen in your life! What is this? Every game! Oh, god damn it, man! Oi, 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 I don't know how much time he's added on because it's not showing it at the minute, but I imagine it's not enough for me to be able to go on some sort of counter-attack. Indeed, it's not. Well, it was better. We scored three goals, which is more than we've scored all season so far. But I'm still struggling with the defending. Willian's first half two goals were... <sighs> frustrating, to say the least. Very frustrating. But that fourth one... What more can I do? I'm throwing bodies in front of the ball time and time and time again. And it just keeps falling back to them. I might try a five back just to have more bodies back there. I'll give the 4-3-3 another go because evidently it improved us offensively. But I just need some more luck at the back. Please give me some luck at the back. Burnley have lost four straight games. They're missing Masengo and Egan Riley, Egan Riley even for injury. Caicedo is on his way back from injury for me, but he's not here yet. And they're very defensive with a 4-2-3-1 wide, which looks more like a 4-4-1-1, really. Their tactical vision is uh, counter-attack, so they're going to look to sit and then break on me, which is manageable, certainly. We shall start trying to utilise these training sessions as well. If we can. Only got the drums out. Turf more away from home. I've changed one, no, two actually. Badia Shile's back in the starting lineup. Hello, Vincent Company. Badia Shile's back in the starting lineup. And, uh, okay. And Mudrick is on the right hand side for Noni, who's tired now. No need is struggles for stamina. Notice how deep that Burnley line was sat then. I also switched controller. I was using my scuff. I'm now using just the regular PlayStation controller. I don't think that would have made much difference. Although, that said, Chris Rankungu's given us a 1-0 lead after four minutes. So, maybe it does make a difference? I think that's probably just pure fluke. But... Maybe it's not. Maybe the problem has been this the whole damn time. I'm sure it hasn't been, but it's a lovely finish by Christopher and Kunku. We're scoring goals now. All I've got to do is stop conceding them and then we'll be fine. Absolute goal fest today. There's Larson. Over the top. Chile trying to get there. Chile can't get there. It is a goal fest today. Larson slams it top bins. Bailey equalised within... Two and a half minutes of going behind, and we're back to the drawing board again. Looking for Enzo, finding Enzo. Enzo with Nkunku in front of him. Can he beat the defender? Yes, he can. Christopher Nkunku, good save by Frankie in goal. Burnley, can Chile find a teammate in the middle from the set piece? Reese James is up. Manuel Benson is up. Get to that first, Chile. Christopher Nkunku, try and find the top corner, and he does. All right. We've gone from not scoring any... To scoring quite comfortably at the minute. I just need to stop conceding at the other end, which doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. But if I can start outscoring my opposition rather than not being able to keep a clean sheet, then at least that's one step in the right direction. That's wonderful from Nkunku. Patino down the line to Manuel Benson. I just can't catch him. That's a pen. A red! A red card! God! How is that a red card? Ref, you've absolutely lost the plot, pal. It's not It's not a nasty challenge. Just come across. The ball is right there to be won, so I've pressed tackle. As I've pressed tackle, Benson's turned. But... How is that a red card? Oh, God! Levi Colwell coming on for Conor Gallagher as I've got to fill my back line. Tracer with the pen. 
buried and it's 2-2 against Burnley. The goal fest continues and now I've only got 10 men. Madrick and Kunku on a hat-trick now on Kunku. Here comes Enzo Fernandez because of a break between the lines. Enzo Fernandez in the box. Oh, I won't get a better chance, I don't think. Enzo with the delivery. It's deep. Lavi is up. Larson too. And Kunku's going to get to that and flick it back. Enzo's onside here. Lofted. Oh, I tried to get there. It might fall to Reese James on the volley. It does indeed. Here's Nkunku again. Frankie with another save. The chances are still coming for the 10 men. So we, provided we can keep that up, do still have the opportunity of getting a victory from this. Lavi will look for Mudrick. Mudrick through the gap. I think Nkunku's off. No flag from the linesman. It's a hat trick for Chris and Kunku. Five goals inside half an hour. The 10 men lead once more. I will get a win today, please. I've seen some people uh, mention the camera angle as to why we're struggling so much, but that's uh, genuinely not the case. We used this camera angle for uh, the whole of the last series of FIFA 23, and I thoroughly enjoyed using it and didn't find that it affected my performance at all. Enzo's in. Four. I think we've figured out how to play. The ten men lead by four goals to two. This is a proper, proper goal fest now. I know I've, I've used that term again and again, but I don't really know how else to describe it. Benson hitting down the line. Tilly can't keep up. Benson is well away. Headers over the bar from Josh Brownhill. Burnley looking to add another to their tally, but for the time being, they will not. We're still conceding goals, but... We have finally figured out how to put the ball in the back of the net. Your guys' decision to change to the 4-3-3, false nine, has very much improved our offensive capabilities. Thank you for that. Chilwell into Nkunku. Beautifully through the gap. Sterling. Tuck it back. Nkunku. Oh, there's a man in the way. Can Lavia get to that? No. Looks like it's going to be 4-2 at half time here. And... Who knew? Oh, no, it's not going to be 4-2 because Josh Brownhill is apparently the fastest man on the planet. It's going to be 4-3 at half-time. Josh Brownhill pulls another one back for Burnley. Benson inside to Brownhill. Trying to keep up with him here. And Trey saw. And Jack Cork. <laughs> All I can do is commentate on what's happening. And what's happening is every shot goes in. Jack Cork from the edge of the box. Very, very top corner. 4-4 four, four here. Uh, <laughs> I'm at, the feedback I'm getting from my live chat is that most people are experiencing a similar sort of thing in their career modes as well. It looks like we're probably going to have to explore sliders a lot earlier than anticipated. I might try for the next game. In the Well, to be fair, the next game's Arsenal. I might try for the next episode at least. Could have scored again, aren't we? No. Next episode at least. Uh, I might try the sliders we used for the majority of FIFA 23 and see if that makes it a more realistic experience because it's a bit crazy now, isn't it? This is nuts. It's just so much space for everyone on the pitch everywhere. And the ball just goes in the back of the net every time. It's nicely tucked back. Larson again. Is he onside here, Tresor? Apparently he is. It's 5-4 Burnley. In the 88th minute. It looks like we're going to lose again. And Kunku. Beat your man. Beat your man. Beat your man. Keeper makes the save. And cleared away. And that will be a 5-4 defeat rather than a 4-3 defeat in the last game. A 10 men with a gloriously ludicrous red card. And Kunku thanks the crowd. What are you doing that, mate? We just lost 5-4. Uh, this is weird, isn't it? Arsenal up next play a Gagan pressing style of football. The 11 looks... Very familiar, as you might well imagine. Declan Rice on the bench, however, with Jorginho and Thomas Partey elected in the midfield in place of Rice and or Havertz in any given position. The front three is 
as you would expect it. I would say they play a Gagan Press, so expect them to be closing me down at any, any given moment. They did lose their last game, but they've won three of their last five. There were seven games in game, seven goals in game one. There were nine goals in game two. So six five, anyone? One change to the lineup for me. That being that Caicedo is back from injury and plays for the first time for us in this save. Will that make a change to the way that our team performs defensively? We shall wait and see. I've also upped the game speed back from slow to uh, normal. And I've also, also dropped it to world class. We'll see if that makes a difference. If none of it seems to... Oh, Raheem! Wow! Best goal we've scored all save so far by a mile! If world class and normal gameplay with default sliders doesn't work, then I'll try in the next episode the sliders we used last year and hopefully that will give us more realistic football. But that is hands down the best goal I've scored on FC24. Wow. Apologies, headphone users. I might have exploded there. And Martinelli still. Back to Zinchenko. Gabi Jesus in the box. We block it. We mark it. <laughs> Did neither in the end, but Petrovic makes the save, thankfully. Tar very much, pal. You can immediately see the change in game speed with the speed of the passes, can't you? The way that the keeper bowled that out was like he'd put a rocket on the back of the ball. It's almost like playing at 1.5 times speed, isn't it? Enzo Fernandez down the line. Cross comes in. Noni, Noni, oh, big save by Ramsdale, big stop, also changed it to four minute halves actually, that's probably key to point out as well, if there's less time on the pitch then presumably we'll get more realistic score lines, Noni Madueke to Enzo who will deliver again, can we get on the end of this, no, Ben White does well, Di Sarsi underneath it, again, Di Sarsi, Noni, big save Ramsdale, still we press for a second, steps away from the challenge of the defender, Noni Madueke, out to Reese James. I'll try and tuck this back to Noni if I can through the gap. Madueke! Ramsdale with another very, very good save to deny us. Fafana to Reese James. Oh, lovely from Jorginho to step in. Here's Gabi Jesus and Martinelli. Where's he going? In there to Erdogan around the corner to Gabi Jesus. Keepers come and just gets a leg to it. He just manages to keep it out. Martinelli from the set piece. It's a decent delivery. Chili's up. Ball's going to fall to Bukayo Saka. Don't let him get it on his left. He can shoot with his right like that as much as he wants. Holy moly, that was not supposed to go that far. But we've kept it out. It's still only 1-0. I feel like this in the previous two games might have been 3-2 already. Looking for Enzo. It might be 2-0. No, Saliba does very well indeed. Excellent strength. Already, this just feels... Miles different to the first two games. Through the gap. Nicely done. There's a lot more movement going on right now. All over the pitch. Offensive players, defensive players. Game just feels a lot more alive right now. Madueke into Enzo. Go back to Noni here. Noni from range. It hit Gabriel's arm. It's going to fall to Nkunku. Who tucks it home. The luck is falling my way now. That drops to Nkunku. We lead by two goals to nil. Everybody's got so excited. They're standing inside one another. Ramsdale can, may well be pretty annoyed about that. It's a good block, but it's fallen straight to me. And a, a tidy finish, to be fair. We lead by two goals to nil. It's half the gameplay, half the fact I'm winning, maybe. I'm trying not to let the fact that I'm winning affect my objective opinion about the gameplay. But, comment section, is that better? Even if I was 2-0 down, is that better? World class, regular speed, it feels it. Partey, into Martinelli. Nice tackle by Rhys James to win it back. There's that Gagan press though. And it nearly worked, it has worked. Jesus to Erdegaard. Erdegaard from range, Petrovic with the save. Decent stop. 
Zinchenko off for them at the beginning of the half and Declan Rice on. Is that a change of formation from them? It must be, surely. They're not going to play Declan Rice at left back. Saka just trying to find some space. His Saliba on the edge of the box. Might go out wide. He's gone for goal himself and Petrovic pokes it over the top. I want to have a look at their, at their formation now. What, what, are they, what have they switched to? Now they are playing Declan Rice at left back right now. Intriguing decision. Not sure how that's going to work for you, Mikel, but give it a go. Why not? Maybe as play progresses and they get out of the set-piece routines, maybe then they might change formation. We'll wait and see. Here is Declan Rice. Partey that hit Caicedo in the face and we'll clear it. Noni helps it to Reese James. We'll look for Noni again. I'm going to run out of room there. Conor Gallagher's here. Can he get past the man that's around him? Enzo, unmarked. Oh! I saw Ramsdale coming. I tried to get away from him and then just put a little bit too much power on the ball over the top. Trossard on for Thomas Partey now. They've mu they Surely they've changed formation now. They, they can't put Trossard in midfield and continue to play Declan Rice at left back, can they? Trossard's now gone to left striker. They have changed formation. They've gone 4-2-4. Four, four. With Erdogan and Jorginho in the middle, Trossard has moved into a forward position, but Rice still at left back. Do they have any options on the bench for that position? Tomiyasu's probably able to play at left back, you would have thought. I don't know about Kivi or maybe. They've gone with Declan Rice. They've stayed with Declan Rice. The score has stayed at 2-0. Gabi Jesus. Saka's onside. Arsenal are in. What? I don't really know what to do there. I can't close him down because it leaves the man free. But then I can't close the man that's free down because it leaves Saka free. Good save by Petrovic, thankfully. Can we win this header? Chile, he's done well. And we'll get it forward into Saka. Final whistle sounds and our second only victory of the season comes at home against high-flying Arsenal. I'm not sure what... Ultimately, I'm not sure what to do with the gameplay. But the way that the first two games went clearly isn't the way to play every game. Nobody would survive playing career mode like that all day, every day. That would just be ludicrous. So we'll see how regular world class feels over the course of the next episode and the next recording if it's a little bit too easy then we'll try the sliders again in uh, in the next episode from what we're using on 23 and see if they work it always is a bit of a, a, a fine balancing act when a new game comes out finding the best way to position the gameplay so that you get the most realistic outcome probably goes without saying that the gameplay always feels like it's built in a way that suits the fast flowing free flowing not really realistic style of ultimate team and you kind of have to tweak it and mold it to make it work for career mode it just seems that that disparity is bigger this year than than normal uh, do forgive outbursts and frustrations with the uh, comment some of the commentary you guys i know are experiencing the same thing and it's it's just as frustrating for you but when we get it right like we did with the sliders last year for the rtg save and the southampton save and the sheffield united save as well when you get that sweet spot it's very very good but we're not near the sweet spot yet we've a couple more games left in the episode we've got a sim against newcastle and a sim against brentford to come we are now on six points Praise the Lord, we've won two games. So the Sim against Brentford then. They were my bogey side on FIFA 23. And FIFA 22, I feel like, as well. Certainly 23 and a couple of saves. And, well... <laughs> maybe that's going to translate over to FC 24 as well. Sharda gives Brentford a 1-0 lead inside five minutes. And it's not necessarily the best start to a game of football you've ever seen. Uh, Benicili gets to start, Kukurea gets to start, Mudrick also. They've only got six points, Brentford. We've only got six points. And at the minute, it looks like they might be the ones to improve their tally earlier than we do ours. But there's plenty of time left to try and find our way back into this one. So we'll hope that we do. Cross it. Find a teammate. Pen! Pen! We've got a pen, a foul. And Zank has seen red as well. Their captain's been sent off. Raheem Sterling from the spot will jump in and take it. 
They've had a player sent off just as we did in an earlier game. And Sterling buries it. We are level at Stamford Bridge. And now against 10 men in the second half. Surely we can see this through and get a victory. Sterling's there too. Men on the edge of the box. And Nkunku. And we're in and Nkunku scores. We might make it. Can you believe it? Potentially back-to-back -back victories in the Premier League now. I really want a two-goal advantage because when it's just 2-1... I don't feel confident that we're going to see it through. We have been conceding goals far too regularly. Oh, and Flecken makes a good save. When you thought... When you saw the square ball, you thought that was going to end up in the back of the net. Somehow the Dutchman has kept it out. It's actually quite highly rated Flecken in FC24. I didn't expect him to have as high a rating as he does. Whoa! That could have gone anywhere. We do get the win. Back-to-back -back victories for Chelsea Football Club. Three points against Brentford on the back of three points against Arsenal. Is the recovery beginning? Potentially. The board is starting to talk about how they're perhaps slightly frustrated with me in some areas. Uh, Jackson, yeah, no, Jackson's fine. We'll go and deal with some of the uh, some of the training plans because I have altered the starting lineup in quite a manner and not necessarily adjusted training plans for individual players as a result. And Kunku's growing well, though. He's now up to 88 rated and is up two so far this year. And that is starting to show now. And Kunku with seven goals in all competitions. Sterling with five in the Prem. And Kunku with six in the Prem. One in the Carabao Cup. Still waiting for more goals from other areas. But certainly at the moment, things are starting to improve for us. Newcastle in the Carabao Cup on the way. But Newcastle away then. This in the Carabao Cup now. We want to focus rather evidently on league football. So I don't think we'll be playing any domestic cup games anytime soon. Maybe in uh, the FA Cup, perhaps. We can put a bit of emphasis on that. And hopefully by the time the FA Cup begins for us, we'll have recovered our league form a little bit. But Newcastle is starting a, a pretty strong side, to be fair. Harvey Barnes, Alexander Isak and Almiron as a front three. Bruno Guimaraes, Joe Willock and Joel Linton in the middle. Dupravka in goal for them, not Nick Pope. But it is a cup game. Obviously, you can see that I'm starting uh, Sanchez myself so not my first team goalkeeper although my higher rated goalkeeper Trippier, Dummett, Cher and Lewis Hall formerly of Chelsea of course starting at left back for them in this fixture today 20 minutes played it's all Newcastle so far but they haven't found the way into the back of the net and we might through Raheem we will through Raheem on the breakaway counter-attacks very very good for us so far this season Sterling scores again Never mind, Alexander Isak equalises immediately. Practically runs around the entirety of my defence right from kickoff, And we're level again. Casting in the box. And there's a goal for them to go in front. It's Alexander Isak again. Gentlemen, come on. Free kick for them on the edge of the box. Tripper in these sorts of situations doesn't normally mess them up. 3-1 Newcastle. We're going out of the Carabao Cup. Not to worry. We'll use this opportunity then to give even more players a bit of extra first-team football. Stoppage time and cleared away. Is it? No, still not yet. There we go. That'll be game then. Out of the Carabao Cup we go. Newcastle fans very happy. Uh, it is what it is. We're not that but Millwall 2, Manchester City 0. Okay, we won't feel quite so bad about losing to Newcastle then, shall we there? Jeez, what a result. Millwall 2, Manchester City 0. Very, very unexpected. We need to sort this a bit of a plans out still we can do that now we'll do it in between episodes so up next for us is Tottenham we are off the bottom of the league and well in fact we're level on points with 14th and we're only two points away or three points we're only one win away from the top half so it's very very close to the bottom half of the Premier League so if we can put together a little bit of a run of form then absolutely we can bounce back up the table with a win against uh, Arsenal will hope to keep that going in the next episode. Although Tottenham City and Newcastle again. Not going to be that straightforward, is it, by the time we get to the end of uh, November. And December is going to be very busy indeed. So managing the squad is going to be important there with regards to fitness and stamina. But getting there. One game at a time. Different in-game settings each particular game so far. But maybe we found the sweet spot. We'll find out against Spurs. Join me for it tomorrow. Do drop the video a like. Let me know your feedback in the comment section down below. That will be all from me for now. I'll see you tomorrow.